I do? Sorry, we had a costume change. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I know. You're like, oh, the sad girl. Um, but um, the, the silver lining to, to everything that happened with my mother is my husband and I had been trying to have a baby for about a year and a half. And two weeks after my mother passed away, I got pregnant. So I'm fairly certain that the first thing my mom did when she got to heaven was send her grandchild down to me. Thank you. <laughs> so this song is dedicated to her grandson.
here tonight. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, most of you know my story, but I get to say that I'm a 10-year survivor this year. Um, it's bittersweet, though, because I've lost so many people just this past year. I've lost many friends, some just Facebook friends, some, some I was close to. And so it just reminds us that we're not done, that it's not over, and that we still have to fight and find a cure and uh, also take care of the women going through treatment, which Avon does as well. So I'm really glad to be walking this walk with Christy. But my personal story is that I was pregnant when I was diagnosed, uh, about the most scary thing you could say to a person. 
um, they told me that they were going to give me chemo while I was still pregnant. And uh, they said it was safe. And I thought, but you tell us we can't drink or smoke. Not that I did either. <laughs> but um, yeah, OK. So I did a lot of trusting and a lot of praying. And uh, I had her, and, and she came out perfect, perfectly fine, and full head of hair while mommy was bald. And she still laughs, to, laughs about that today. <laughs> and she's going to sing with me now. Come on out, Sophia. My miracle baby.
everybody. Um, I feel like it's a perfect fit that I get to sing this song after the amazing, beautiful mother-daughter duet. Um, I'm also the mother of a daughter. I have a friend in the audience, my good friend Diane, who's a mother of a daughter, and her sister Sharon was too. She lost her battle to this disease, as did my friend Wendy, for whom I'm singing tonight. Um, Wendy was 33 when she lost her battle to breast cancer. And it was our love of children that brought us together um, at a school where we worked. And um, Wendy was full of life <laughs> and full of love and full of F-bombs and <laughs> um, just full of courage. But most of all, um, what I'll remember most about Wendy is that she was full of joy. Suddenly 
I was misinformed. I heard this was the audition for the Bee Gees movie. I'm here for Robin. I start. Uh, we shouldn't go very much further without introducing this great band we have here tonight. On guitar, Yen. On the bass is Charles. And it was his birthday yesterday. That's really good. Gabe on the drums. And our conductor and pianist, Dwayne. I'm doing this through a pure sense of uh, coincidences that happened. Uh, it's true. Um, the last time I was on the stage, I had no hair. I have hair again, which is nice. Thank you. Um, the day that Christy put up her announcement that she was going to run in the Avon 39, uh, I was told that my sister was diagnosed with breast cancer. We might have a picture here, I think. Um, yes, we do. That's not it. There it is. That's my sister Susan and me uh, a couple of weeks ago up at her cottage in Vermont on the lake. The one in the middle is my brother Pat. <laughs> oh, no, that's all right. Yeah, he's, he's the black sheep of the family. No, that's uh, my dog Nathan. He was just having a good day. So anyway, my sister was uh, a jazz singer for a lot of years. And uh, when I went up to see her on the occasion of her 70th birthday, she's a little older than I am, uh, not enough, um, she put a whole new song into her set. It was unusual and not a jazz song at all. So when uh, uh, Christy said to me, you had any ideas about songs, I gave her a couple, and she came back to me and she said, no, I want you to sing this song. And it was the song that my sister had put in her set, uncharacteristically. And yesterday, she finished treatment. So, I'm singing for her. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord that you really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lid, the baffled king composing, hallelujah, hallelujah.
me know what was really going on down below but now you never show
song of the evening, I get to do something really cool. I get to do a song that I wrote a few years after I went through treatment, after I kind of caught my breath and I could think without crying. And um, I did a song that was kind of inspirational and made me feel powerful and made me feel like what I went through, which was um, trusting on a lot of faith and a lot of people that were there for me and held me up and I didn't feel like I was alone. So, I get to sing my song now with all these amazing people singing back up with me, which is just amazing. So thank you and uh, let's go. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
the Avon 39 Walk to End Breast Cancer, which is next October, the 17th, 18th, 19th, 17th, 17th and 18th, if you want to come support all of the um, amazing women and men walking 39 miles, wish us luck. Um, we're going to do a company, right, we're all wearing our Fitbits too, if you have noticed. Um, <laughs> um, we're going to take a company picture now, um, so Kev, are you up there? Where are you? Over there? Thank you for coming and be sure to come back soon to see more great shows here at Downtown.